So this is an example of returns by month. Uh, you have new and open returns. Those are how many they're outstanding that you're expecting to get back. Reasons, returns by reason. So it shows a total number there. These are this is just type of data we can get here. You can return specific serial numbers uh, on invoices, or you can return uh, a specific item. Uh, and it, and it, has, it can be related to an invoice or it might not be. So I'll tell you behind the scenes, we're actually syncing a lot of data for RMAs. We're, we're syncing, in this case, batch and serial numbers. Um, and that way uh, you can return specific serial numbers. So this thing does have an invoice history uh, and it has a, a serial number history if you do have that kind of inventory. Okay. Uh, and I, I can you know, select individual serial numbers that may or may not be associated with an invoice. And, and honestly, we can even put a button right here if I wanted to make a return, search for a serial number and create a return out of it, you could do that. And, uh, a really common starting point though is actually Zoho Desk. Um, pe you know, people contact you like, hey, I have an issue with product or something like that. And they say, you say, okay, no problem. Um, let's see if we can, why don't you ship it back and we'll see what's wrong with it. We may ship it out or we may ship you a replacement. So that's like a workflow trigger that triggers from Zoho Desk, like statusing a ticket a certain way in Zoho Desk that can just create an RMA here. And uh, here's an example. You can use the ticket number as the RMA number or uh, we can just do like an auto number for the for the RMA number. But the bottom line is it generates an RMA number. You have the customer, the status, how it's being returned, um, who's paying for the uh, shipment back, things like that. So this RMA, you can print a document from it that is you know printable a printable version of this doc. So the RMA receiver is really just a copy of. Uh, the RMA entry. The difference is that the RMA entry is not a financial transaction. Actually, neither of them are financial transactions. RMA entry only triggers a sales order if there is a cross ship. RMA receipts triggers a sales order if it's not a cross ship. And if you're doing a credit, it will trigger the creation of a credit memo. So the RMA itself is not an actual financial transaction. It just facilitates the creation of financial transactions.